That didn't work. And so... Let's see how are they doing on theirs. Oh, he's got it. Mmm. Let's see over here. Someone already ate him. Oh, no, there he is. Spaghetti. And now this one for the oxalotl. I'm not cutting him on the counter. I got a cutting board, don't worry. Be right back. Okay, now it's their turn. So I'm going to see if I can. That's not going to help. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to just hold on. There we go. There you go. I'll clean up the bottom again. Good boy. I mean, like, this plant is doing so bad because it's not getting enough sunlight. So, oh well. Come in. Probably not. Oh. Good boy. And just do that. So, when I'm done feeding them, I'm probably going to clean this up. Last one. Come in. You want it? Come in. See, I mean, it's like shedding. So, time to scoop it up. Do you want it? Good boy. And those are my axolotls. Now for the flakes, I literally just use Nutrifin Basics large cichlid flakes, you know, large, yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. And they all swarm in. Come on, focus. There we go. Give it a little bit more. Throw some on for these guys. Just this much. And like whatever they don't eat usually just goes down through the tube. If you actually want to make one of these guys, uh, just ask and I'll show you how to make them. Really simple. How to make one of these little isolation holders for your babies. Really easy. Oh, they still got lots. Now, let's go over to the guppies. Now, here are the guppies. So, I just opened this little part so it's 90 degrees. And grab a little bit. And drop it in. Oh, he knows what it is. Yeah, a little bit more. There. Drop the rest back into there. Yeah. There. He looks fat. But that's okay. Yeah, that's how I feed my cichlids and fish and everything. Also, I'll give them a little extra just for luck and I'm gonna fill this up more again, crap. Oh well, we'll see you, bye.